Hey guys, Lee with OBB Fishing. So I came back out to the Orville Lake because I haven't had any success at Blackfeet Lake. I mean, any major success that is. I've caught very few fishes over there this year and it's just been a slow year for that specific lake. So it's kind of windy today, but I'm gonna, you know, enjoy my day out here because the water level has been increasing. So I'm just checking to see where the bass are before I try to go hit the stripers uh, out at the Calusa or Yuba area, so let's get to fishing, guys. Believe it or not, this is usually the most difficult part of the whole trip. It's going down these hills and bridges. You just gotta be careful. I remember going down a hill with one of my cousins once, and he just started rolling downhill instead of walking. Oh no. So just be slow about your approach. Make sure your footing's stable. Oh. So guys, first bait of the day will be a minnow. I'm gonna catch it out right below me just because there's a drop off. I don't know if you guys can catch it on the GoPro. But, we're right out there. Yo, that is... Oh! <laughs> My line was running. <laughs> it's a beautiful spotted. Let's get it off the hook. So we can show the camera. It's a baby though. That's a beautiful spotted at that. I mean, guys, take a look at that. Look at the spots coming across the line. That's how you can tell it's a spotted. It's just a really small one, give or take seven or eight inches only. I'm gonna throw it back out. And check out the line. I may have found out where the fishes are. We'll see. a big one <laughs> this thing like just snagged my rod oh he's going under the rocks Woo oh my god it snapped I let him get under the rock it's my fault Fishes are making my, uh oh, there's no hooks in my pocket. Life much harder than it needs to be. Oh, I'm a bite. The shorts off. Yep, it's a bite. It's a bite. Yep, I knew it. <sighs> Whew. This one swallowed the hook. I would need the pliers. This is what I mean, guys. Look at the average size. See, this is my hand right here. Eight to 10 inches, man. They're really hot right now, so if you guys are coming out, you guys will have a blast out here. Middle still on there. It's crazy. Dead for sure, though. It swallowed. Whoa! <laughs> trying to drag my rod into the water. <sighs> I 
That's a feisty one. Ooh, looks like a keeper. Look at this, guys. Finally, a decent size. Might be my first keeper for the day. I'm gonna measure it. See, let's check my little line. Thirteen. That was one on my line. Feisty one. <clears throat> oh, darn it, the fish came off. <sighs> well, my hook, hook came off, that's why. Fish didn't come off, my hook came off, guys. <sighs> oh. <sighs> that was a good one. This one feels really good. Oh! Alrighty. Whew! That's gonna be really good. It's a really good one. Alrighty, my hand stuck in his gills. Look at that! This is a really beautiful fish, guys. Oh, this guy's a keeper for sure. Whew. Put him on line. I know I saw a nibble. I can't tell this one feels decent too. <laughs> Alrighty, another good looking fish guys. <laughs> oh, the mamas are coming in. <laughs> there you go. As soon as my line went out, it just went bam, bam. And I was like, that's not normal. So I waited for a split second to let the fish gobble up my minnow before, you know, deciding to follow through with the set in the hook. I think they are full. It's too many rocks right here. You gotta be careful. A little bit further out. So, well, that does. And then. I honestly think this fish is just too ugly. Just kidding. <laughs> I picked it up while I was reeling it in. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. <laughs> it was le legit really went lying in. And this thing just swam by, it took it as a 
good one too. <laughs> Look at this. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna probably bite him because it's too ugly. Oh! <laughs> He's a spicy one. A few moments later. I just killed one of my fishes, huh? That was a rough hike back up. But, you know, I knew it was the time to call it. There's a blue herring that was going after my largies. He actually killed one of them and poked it right in the head so I took that as a sign to go home so <laughs> gathered all my stuff and just made the hike back up so <sighs> keeping four and I'm recommending everyone else to come out here right now because this is the time to come bass fishing you'll have a blast I'll catch you guys next time one of my minnows right there Happens to me all the time, man. Some small ones. This one's about five to six inches only. It's peeing on me. It's peeing.